Hi, Steve here at the SJC WeFab Lab with Google Slides. Uh, and we're going to be looking at something called version history. Now, version history lets me know for any Google document uh, what happened with it. Now, some of you might remember uh, the pain of your computer dying and losing your homework. Oh man, I, I still remember being upset as a kid about that. Uh, if I'm using Google nowadays, there's not really any reason to be upset. If my computer uh, does something I didn't expect, it doesn't matter. This is all in the cloud. And so my files are still there. Let's take a look at an example slide. Right here, it says example slide. Uh, it's something I've been working on. Oh, hey, and it looks like I have a guest here with me. Um, actually, the guest is the Fab Lab account, so it's, it's also me. But uh, it's kind of showing an idea. Uh, if you look right here, you'll notice that we have uh, the version history. It's telling me the last time that this file was edited. Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, well, here it is when it started. And here it is with a little bit of collaboration between me and uh, the Fab Lab account. Oh, in fact, we can look at this in even more detail. Stepping back through the work that was done. The Fab Lab account, it appears, deleted a page. It also, it seems, let's, let's look a little bit closer, this is some typing that's not helpful. Well, I don't, I don't want that not helpful typing. So one, I can tell who wrote in here uh, something that wasn't helpful. Uh, I can also, if for instance, uh, I made a file, shared it with someone and they changed it, but I didn't like the changes, I can go back to before they changed it and say, restore this version or just make a copy. So for instance, uh, maybe I've made something, I've shared it to one person, they've used it and they've been really helpful, but I also want to share the unchanged version with another period of the class or whatever. Uh, I can make a copy of the version before I shared it out, and then we can all work from that. All right, uh, version history helps you to figure out what's going on inside of a document. It can save you time as well and, and saves those heartbreaks uh, that you might have had uh, before you were using your work on the cloud. All right, I hope this is helpful. Have fun.